Hello everybody, it's your boy Tapmana, and today it's Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody. Uh, we're going to be opening this Planeswalker deck from 2017, Nisa, Genesis Mage, uh, Hour of Devastation. It's a Planeswalker deck that includes two boosters. I wanted to open this and give it away since it's the holidays here. I'm going to be announcing the winner of this giveaway on January 7th. The same time I'm going to be doing... Uh, announcing the ASMR deck builder giveaway that uh, deck build giveaway that I've recently done Ferris's day off. Please check out that video. I'll be sure to drop the link below. Uh, but yes, a funny story about this is this was going to be the original package that I opened for this channel as my very first video, um, and I thought it was an intro deck, and I was going to say you know. As an introduction to this channel, I'm going to be opening an intro deck. And I never ended up doing that. And I still kept this around because I realized it wasn't even an intro deck. You can even see Nisa is like kind of loose in there. Um, but yes, I'm definitely going to be giving this away to one lucky winner. Um, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and then leave a comment. Leaving a comment is the part that I really like so that we can, we can interact. Feel, feel free to let me know how your uh, holiday is going. Feel free to let me know what you hope to pull from Hour of Devastation or what your uh, favorite card of the video was. Whatever you want to uh, interact with, that'd be great. Um, and if you want to support another way, feel free to go ahead and check out the uh, link tree to see my uh, where the Patreon is. But yes, without further ado, let's kick the holiday off here with this Hour of De Devastation Planeswalker deck. Now, I don't have sleeves for these. I actually just kind of did this for the moment. So what I'm going to be doing here is just being gent gently placing them aside and then um before i ship them out to the winner i'll see if i can try to uh get some sleeves here for you or i can ship it as is whoever whatever the winner decides you know i just want to make sure you know that your cards are protected i do have a few sleeves for some juicy pulls and for the main star here i hope you guys appreciate this beautiful piece of art which i got for christmas and um, I just want to showcase it here. So this is where we're going to be highlighting our rares. And then you can see that we have our little uh, uh, card holder here. And we're ready to go. So let's get our cards together. We're going to go ahead and look at the package here. I just kind of slid it open. It was, it was really easy to get out. It's, uh, it's supposed to come with a ready-to-play 60-card deck featuring a foil premium Nisa Genesis Mage uh, Planeswalker card, which we see right here. Two Hour of Devastation, 15 card booster packs, a deck box, and a strategy insert with the magic quick reference card. Unleash Nature's Wrath. The elf planeswalker Nisa Ravane draws power from her connection to the natural world. Enlist her aid to harness prim primal elemental forces and summon massive, ca uh, massive creatures as you overrun your enemy's defenses. <laughs> I was choking on my own words there. Thought I was doing pretty good though. I'll get better at that. So for 2017, it's it's almost 22 uh 2022 now. Uh for 2017, this feels pretty premium here. Um everything fit as it should. Uh this plastic even feels it it's flimsy, but not nearly as flimsy as plastic that we get more these days now. Uh, which I can appreciate uh Wizards of the Coast actually trying to step it up and use less uh paper in some of their products, starting off with a. Uh, the secret layer. I know not everyone was happy about that, but personally, uh, the less product we can use, you know, the more the, the little we, things we can do to try to do better for our environment. We're literally playing a game full of cardboard, so I mean, we should at least be mindful of that. Uh, but let's go go ahead and get the star of the show, Nisa, Genesis Mage, sleeved up here. We got a nice pink sleeve because that's what I had around, and we're gonna take a look at what Nisa does. Got that foil though. You know what? It's a shame I have to do this, but I really want to highlight the foil on the video. And once again, I hope everyone's having a great holiday so far. Um, I hope you're around family and friends. If you're not, like myself, I was alone for many holidays. Uh, sometimes it's real. I mean, you know, I, I was personally indifferent to it, but it would be nice to have some family and friends around. So I hope um, you're getting comfort in this video. Just know I'm sending you the good vibes. Uh, so Nisa, Genesis Mage, is a Planeswalker. You can, it's plus two ability is untapped up to two target creatures and up to two target lands. That's pretty powerful. Uh, minus three is target creature gets a plus five, plus five until the end of the turn. And then minus 10 is look at the top 10 cards of your library. You may put any number of creature and or la land cards among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in, in a random order. Wow, that's pretty powerful. I mean, it, it comes with five loyalty counters already, but it is a seven drop, so... 
I mean, this is a 60 card deck. We're not playing commander and it's not a commander card necessarily. I mean, I, I don't know if anyone's put it into their commander deck. If you have, go ahead and drop that on the comment right there. Let me know if you have and how it works out for you. I know I have a couple Planeswalker in my own elf deck, which a few of you actually mentioned. Um, it would be really cool to see that. So I'm going to be showcasing some of my own decks here. Non-giveaway videos, uh, but you know I try to sh uh, share as much of the juice as I can. Looks like we have our packs here. Got a couple Hour of Devastation. So the big hitters here, uh, what was the big hitters? I know the Scarab God. If we can get a Scarab God for one of you, that'd be a happy Christmas right there. I mean, a giveaway is a giveaway, but uh, a nice Scarab God is uh, the money pull out of the set for those of you who, who follow the magic for some of its uh, actual cost value. But if we can get a foil Razaketh the Foul-Blooded, that would be supreme right there. That's a $75 card at this time from what I'm aware of. So um, we're going to save the packs. We're going to go. We're just going to do a quick skim through of the deck. Um, and then we'll go into the packs. Uh, it comes with this cool little deck box here. Pretty nice little Nisa deck box. We'll set that aside because we'll be using it to mail out to the uh, to the winner here um, shortly after the 7th. And if you guys haven't checked out that video, yeah, I do strongly recommend it. It's pretty entertaining. I want to say that uh, I'm definitely going to be investing in a better camera, though, because I've noticed that in some of the camera quality in a couple of the videos have could be better, even though they look great when I'm ever, whenever I'm recording. So that's just a thought. I'm keeping that in mind. I want everyone here to know that I'm I'm definitely trying to evolve the channel and grow as the channel grow uh, grows itself, so that everyone can be happy. And this is actually really cool. This is a little. The add-on, the quick reference guide. This is something cool. If you, if you can get this somehow, like, pinned somewhere on a wall, if you're at a magic shop, this would be great for those new players. I'm just saying, like, have these, uh, you know, glassed into one of the, one of every table for those who are new or literally want to have the steps in front of them. I mean, if you've been playing magic for some time, you really, really don't need this at all. But for those who are new, you know, it makes it easier to teach. Instant and sorcery spells do what they say, and then you put them into the graveyard. Instances can ca can be cast anytime, including in response to your opponent's actions. Land cards are never cast as spells. You can only uh, play one land each turn. Maybe I should try to do a video where I go through all these steps and then show the example. That's a good comment. Let me know what you think about that. Should I do a how to play magic quick reference guide? Make it a nice, clean, short video, but kind of... Uh, enough to consume to get a game started for you that'd be good we'll set that there that's definitely going to go in the box and then we have our hour of devastation theme oh it's the deck guide that's cool playing the deck you are all that stands in between amon ket and the destruction at the claws of the dragon's planeswalker nickel bolus with this deck and nisa's help you'll summon mighty creatures and keep drawing more with your aftermath cards Wow. They were letting you know exactly what's about to go down. Let's take a full look at this. Do we get a poster? I think we got a poster. I don't know. Poster worthy, maybe? Okay, this side's poster worthy in my opinion. Come on, look at that. That's pretty sweet. Learning to play magic. This is really cool. I mean, they're treating this basically like an intro deck. But you get two booster packs. And it was... <laughs> The same price essentially as the intro decks. So um, let's go ahead and just open the uh, open the deck now, and then we'll get into these packs, and then uh, yeah, we'll call it a show after that. Let's see here, wonderfully sealed. There we go. Now, of course, you can always look at the deck list for this online. So I'm really just going to be doing a skim through of this. Uh, just to look at the quality of the cards. These are not curled at all. This is a quality product. Can we see how straight that is? Clean, right? Very nice. Reason, belief. So this is definitely Simic. Bounty of Luxa. I've actually used Bounty of Luxa a lot uh, playing Magic back in the day. So <laughs> five, six years ago. Nisa's Encouragement. Search your library and graveyard for a card named Forest, a card named Bramble Weft Behemoth, and a card named Nisa, Genesis Mage. Reveal those cards, put them into your hand, and shuffle your library. So you get Mana Ramp out of that too. I wonder what, I want to see the beast that it's mentioning here. What's the beast called? 
Bramble Wift Behemoth. So we're going to keep an eye out for Bramble Wift Behemoth. Oh, that's cool. I'm seeing some cards I've never seen beho- before. A River a river Hoopo. And this is a 1-3 flying. You can tap three and get a green and a blue. And then you gain two life and draw a card. That's super Simic right there. And it's drop for two. You get a 1-3 flying with abilities for two drop. Beautiful right there. And then more mana ramp. You got the Human Druid. And if you control the Planeswalker, you gain two life. I see. I like what they did with this deck. They, they did make it extremely themed. Where's that Bamble with Behemoth? Did we already pass it? That'd be funny if I already passed it. Didn't even care. Pouncing Cheetah, which we got some Flash. Aerial Guide. Nah. Weaver of Currents. I've used this card a lot, too. This is a great card. You could just tap it for some Mana Ramp right there. Get some Artifacts out. Or just, you know, pay the extra cost. Bamble with Behemoth. It's a 6-6 Trample. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can see right there in the picture that that thing is not a happy creature. It's, I mean, it doesn't really have a face to begin with. It just has eyes. But it looks pretty scary and destructive for a big 6-6 trample creature in Magic. Especially if you're playing this kind of format where you're just playing 60 cards. Whoever wins this, I hope you actually play this against someone. That'd be pretty sweet. And if you win, that'd be great. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if that other person had like a 60 card super deck. Which most people like to do refined... Uh, high-level decks, I don't blame you. And the rest of these are just lands. Oh, we got our unsummons! This is a great card. It's an instant that lets you return a target creature to its owner's hand. Got four of those. That's what I'm talking about. Three of those? Nope, four of those. Nope, yep, three of those. I almost said four of those. Ambuscade, Spring in Mind, twice. All right, that's the deck. I mean, I really didn't want to spend too much time on that. Again, if I find an extra 60-pack of sleeves laying around, I'll definitely sleeve those up for you. But they will be safe in this wonderful deck box for someone to enjoy it regardless. Yes, and I have been hearing that uh, everyone's really liking the deck builds. Uh, but you don't want packs, uh, pack openings to go away. So I'm going to be keeping up with as much as possible. I'm trying to ramp up as best, uh, as best as I can to go ahead and get two videos out a week. That will be That's definitely a goal here. Before I open this, we're going to do a little investigation. We're going to see how it feels. This couldn't possibly be tampered with, but you never know. Um, we just want to look at this kind of pack to see as a reference. So just in case if any of you ever buy these packs in the future from an, um, an outside source from a game shop, then you can see for yourself if, if what you're getting is legit or not. At least for this type. I mean, packs do get manufactured from different places and at different sources, so... You know, this is only so much as a reference that you can use. Right there, there's that factory glue. And opening the pack. All right, cool. Looks like it's in order. We don't have to go do any card trick. We're going to slow roll these packs. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope you're feeling good. Having a good start to the week. Solitary Camel. That's pretty sweet. Grizzly Survivor. It's a 2-3 Minotaur Warrior. For three, and then whenever you cycle or discard a card, it gets a plus two, plus zero. Okay, I mean, that'd be cool to have a cycle commander deck. I don't know. I haven't seen it done personally, but you could pretty much do anything with cards. With these magic cards, there's so many of them. Graven Abomination. Look at that. That's some art right there. Super creepy. Whenever it attacks, exile target card from a defending player's graveyard. I already know that that would be great against one of my friend's decks. Uh, in Commander, he would hate that. He works off of his graveyard. Then we have Doomfall, Struggle and Survive, and then our rare is an Imminent Doom. When it enters the battlefield, with it enters the battlefield with the Doom counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost equal to Doom counters on Imminent Doom, it deals that much damage to target creature or player. Then put a Doom counter on it. That's kind of cool. I mean. I put that in a 60 card deck over anything and then just try to work off with the numbers. And then our uh, foil is a mummy paramount. Cool, cool. And then a Sinius striker zombie naga warrior token. That's not obscure at all. And another pack of Hour of Devastation that we're going to get through. Can we get Neheb the Eternal? Can we get a Razakith or a Scarab God? Shoot. I'll even go and be happy for a Nickel Bolus God Pharaoh or a Nickel Bolus the Deceiver. Shoot, the Locust God would be cool. I mean, I'm really just throwing names out from this set at this point. So we could, we could kind of get through these a little faster. I do appreciate the, the theme that they have going here. It's a lot of 
Egyptian styled theme, like ancient Egyptian styled themes here. Like that creature almost looks like an, uh, an Anubis with a skull. Oh, look at the cute ruin rat. <laughs> it said, give me my bone, even though it has one creepy messed up eye. Great Grantic Titans, Desert of the Serpent, Seer of Last Tomorrow, and then our Uncommons is Sunset Pyramid. Get some scry action there with the brick counters, draw on a card. Doomfall, which is a cool card. Enfear Deadlands, which is a uh, Deadlands, which is a, a desert, which has a bunch of abilities. And then Leave and Chance is our rare. Well, I've never seen this card. Return any number of target permanents you own to your hand. And then Chance is discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. And then you're using Aftermath, because you can only cast it from your graveyard at that point. No Foil, then a Swamp, and then Token. Anyways, folks, that's it. Short video. I just wanted to bond with you all for Christmas, let you guys know that I care and that I hope you're doing well and having a great holiday, um, whether you're celebrating or not. I just wanted to throw this bonus video out and do the giveaway. Again, if you want to be a part of this giveaway, I'll be announcing the winner the same time I do my ASMR deck build on January 7th. And I'll be, uh, be sure to go ahead and leave a like, leave a subscribe and, uh, yeah, if you're up to it, go ahead and share. Anyways, peace, y'all. I'm going to end my turn there. I pass.